Hello, in this video, I'm gonna be taking you through some major changes that are coming to navigation in the upcoming WordPress 6.3 release, including managing your menus from the site view sidebar, a new focus mode for navigation menus, the ability to see your menus in template part focus mode, and finally, performance upgrades that are coming to navigation in WordPress 6.3. My name is Dave Smith, Gutenberg core team member and full-time WordPress contributor. And if you're ready, let's dive in. So before I kick off, just to say I am on WordPress 6.3 beta 2 for this demo, and I'll be using the 2023 default theme. Okay, so here we are in the site editor, and we're gonna take a look at this new site view that's appeared on the left-hand side of the site editor. And this is new for WordPress 6.3. It did have a similar interface for WordPress 6.2, but it was a lot more pared down. This new view is really a central hub for managing everything to do with your website, including navigation styles, pages, templates, and the library, which includes patterns, reusable blocks, and what were called template parts. But we obviously interested in navigation and if I click through here on navigation I'm going to see the view of the only navigation menu that I have on my site and it is the same menu that is used in this navigation block in the header of my site just by coincidence so we can see the items here and what I can actually do is do some basic editing in this view as well so I can say move down and it will move that item down and it will be reflected here I could move this one up I could also get rid of an item and do things like that. And there's also basic drag and drop functionality here. What we don't have, I'm afraid, is the ability to actually edit the text or the links of these items or add new ones at this point. Now, I know some of you will probably be uh, screaming at the screen at this point and saying, why is that not the case? Uh, and that would be very reasonable, uh, but it's just something that we haven't been able to fit into this release. And we are going to be exploring it in a future release, but it does have some uh, interesting user experience and technical complications. So we need a little bit longer to make sure it's really solid before we put it into a official WordPress release. So as you see, I've made these changes and I click save here and those changes are then persisted. So that's really the basic level of editing you can do in this sidebar. But what you can also do, and what you haven't been able to do before, is rename, duplicate, and delete your menu. So let's start off by renaming this one. Now, as it's in the header of my site, I'm going to call it primary, uh, primary navigation. That makes sense. I'm going to save, and my menu has now been updated to be called primary navigation. And that's useful, but I decide that actually probably what I want to do is create a secondary navigation as well. Perhaps I want to use that in my foot or in a sidebar. And I can do that. I can click duplicate here and a copy of that menu is made. And I can choose to rename that copy and call it secondary navigation. And I hit save. And now I have secondary navigation created. And now when I go back, I now get to this navigation listing screen and this shows all the navigations that I've created uh, and you can access this directly from the main site view if I click on navigation it shows both of them. Now that wasn't the case when I first loaded this at the start of this segment so that's because when I only have one menu it will just show that menu immediately rather than listing one menu here. But if I have more than one menu I'm going to see a list of them here and I can click through to either one as shown here. Now let's, for the purposes of demonstration, create one more copy of this menu, and that is called secondary navigation copy. Uh, but perhaps, you know, that was an accident, or I decide I don't want a tertiary navigation menu because that's getting a bit extreme. So I can go here, I can go to delete, I can say delete, and sure enough, my secondary navigation copy menu has been removed. So this new site view for navigation really gives you, the for, for the first time, the ability to manage all your menus in the in a central place in the sidebar. Let's move on now to take a look at focus mode for navigation menus. Okay, so I've gone ahead and updated our site a little bit here, and what I've got now is a header with a menu in it, and in the menu we're using the primary navigation. What I also have is a footer, which is looking a bit different and it is also using that primary navigation there. So bear in mind, these are visually different treatments, but the same underlying menu data. 
So if I go into our navigation sidebar now and I click through to primary menu, I enter this new focused mode for navigations. Now, those of you who have used WordPress 6.2 will probably be familiar with a similar thing that was used for template parts. And really, it allows you to focus down on just a specific part of the content and edit it without the surrounding Chrome of the rest of the site. And that's pretty much what it does for navigations, except that with this view, what we're actually editing is the data or the menu items themselves rather than the specific navigation block. And we can see this because I can demonstrate to you now. So if we click into the focus and we can add a new item. So let's do that now and we will add this one and it's rather long. So let's rename that to about and about should be here. So we'll do that. We'll go back up and there's the change and we'll save that now. And you'll notice here, in I have a navigation block here, but there are no controls for this block. I can't change the styling, I can't change the visual treatment. All I can do is edit the items in that block and the sub items of the block and add new ones to it. And of course, our sidebar here has now updated to reflect the changes we've made. And when I'm ready, I can now go back to my main site view. And I'm still in navigation, but the site review flex to update that. And over here on the right, you can see my header menu has now updated accordingly to those changes. And you can see we've got about here now has been added. But the visual treatment obviously has not changed because I'm now able to edit that in focus mode. Similarly, if I scroll down to the footer, where I'm also using the same exact same menu, the about item has been added. And that's really useful there. And just to show to you how styles are not pulled over, I will just edit this one and you can see all the styling controls here. And I'm going to set a background of something horrid like red and I'm going to set the text to white. And I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to enter focus mode again. And you can actually do that from this edit button here as well, directly from the canvas. So let's do that now. And now we're in focus mode for that navigation. And you can see all the visuals treatment is stripped away, allowing you to focus down on just the data of that menu. Um, this is really handy if you are reusing a menu on multiple areas of your site and you just want to add some new items to that menu. You can do that safely without knowing you're going to break the visual treatment of it and it will update everywhere. And that's a really powerful feature. One last thing about focus mode for navigation menus that our power users might be interested in is that because we're in focus mode, we can now access the inner blocks of our navigation. Finally, this has been a long standing request. I've had videos about it in the past, about to hack around it by using a database viewer, but now we can do that just in the editor. We go to code editor mode here and all we see is the inner blocks of that navigation. And if I want to uh, make a change to that, I can do that fairly easily. Let's rename about to about us and then exit code editor mode. You see that about us has now been updated and there's a prompt to save. If I save that and I go back to site view again, it's now called about us. So for those of you who do need to access the inner blocks markup of your navigations, you can now do that with this new focus mode. Now let's take a look at how you can access navigation in your synced patterns or template parts. So as we've seen, it's a pretty common pattern to have a menu in the header of your website like this one. This is the header pattern or template part. And um, I can see that I've got a navigation in it. So if we actually go to um, the new site view and we look for template parts, we'll see that that no longer exists. And what's happened is that this has been renamed. And currently it's called library, but there's also discussion about calling it patterns. And basically everything now that is synced like a pattern is, is has been now renamed as a pattern. So template parts, reusable blocks, uh, all of those and things, including patterns themselves, now exist under this new library tab. And if I go there, I can see I've got these pre-existing ones, headers, and these are basically my template parts of, of from WordPress 6.2 parlance. And if I go into I can look at the synced patterns that are kept in sync across your site, I can see my header here. Now, again, similarly to navigation, I can enter a focus mode that's always been there for template parts, but it's just made easier to access. So if I click on it, I go through to a focused view of just my header template part. 
Um, so this has always been here, but now we've got this extra sidebar here that allows you to see some information about your template part, like when it was last modified, its saved status, and also if there is a navigation menu present in that template part, it will be displayed here. And we have the same sort of controls that were available to us in the navigation view from the site view as well. So if I want, I can move items up and down. I can delete items. I won't do that here. And I can drag and drop like I could do before. So that is a nice, neat little way of uh, managing your navigation in the context of the header. Again, um, with this view, the main difference is that we are not focused on the navigation itself. So we are allowed actually to amend the, uh, the styles here. So if I want to change to green, so uh, I can do that here or orange, I can do that here. And that is because we are editing the template part for the header rather than the navigation itself. So it makes sense that, you know, if you weren't wanting to edit that, you are editing, making changes to the header template part as well as the navigation. So we expose those controls. So we save that out. And again, if we go back up to our site view, uh, we'll see that that has updated there to orange. And if we scroll down to our footer, which is using the same menu, you might remember, that has remained as green, but the data itself is still in sync. So that's a new uh, powerful feature that we've added to make editing your primary menu just that little bit easier in WordPress 6.3. Another area where we've improved the navigation experience in WordPress 6.3 is the area of performance. Now, this is obviously a little bit more difficult to demonstrate to you in the context of a video, but suffice to say, we've doubled down on improving the loading speed for the navigation block, and this has been partly driven by the need to expose this navigation concept in this site view sidebar here. So one of the first things that we've done is look at how many queries for navigation are being sent over the network. And those sort of things are things that will requesting data from the, uh, from the WordPress database and take time to go back and forth and therefore slow down the loading speed of your site. So now when we load the WordPress site for the first time in the site editor, we now only have a single query to get the navigation that's shown in this header template part. Uh, there's one here to get the data and another for a permissions request. So there actually are two of them there. But previously, we'd have had several requests. I think it was at least five previously. Similarly, if we click through to show all navigations, there are no further requests for, for navigations. That data has already been preloaded on the WordPress server side. It is available in the site editor as soon as you enter it, which greatly improves the perceived performance and the loading speed of the editor itself. We've obviously also been working hard to remove any obsolete requests within these focus modes and work is still underway in bug fixing on beta 2 and to make this even more performant as we go forward. So hopefully when you're using your navigations, you should see some performance improvements there. So what did you think of the changes coming to navigation in WordPress 6.3? Are they going to help your workflows? Is it going to make your life easier? and what things were missing that you'd really hope were going to be landing in 6.3. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll make sure your feedback gets to the right people. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button and of course, subscribe to the channel for more WordPress 6.3 content, including my upcoming video, which will go over all the key features of WordPress 6.3 in just five minutes. But that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.